Kidminster fans dream of Wembley after their comeback victory over Reading. The TV bosses will be kicking themselves that they missed this, a stunning 2-1 victory for sixth-tier Kidderminster Harriers over the Sky Bet Championship side Reading, a result that means Kidderminster are the lowest-ranked side in the hat for the FA Cup fourth round. It was an electric match, where the home players' brilliance was deserving of their standing ovation. The match was, however, marred by shameful disruption from fans throwing flares onto the pitch on at least three occasions, including at a crucial moment during the final minutes of stoppage time. Before the match the Kidderminster manager, Russell Penn, disappointed by the decision not to show this match on TV, reflected that the magic has gone from the cup a little bit. The owner, Richard Lane, added, the cup thrives on the aspirations and dreams of lower clubs and what might be possible. That it is not being shown live is wrong. Inside Agbro Stadium, though, where the home side have played for 132 years, that magic felt alive, with the dreams of this club and its 5,000 fans lighting up the stand. The hosts were their opponents equals from the first whistle. By contrast, Reading had a squad plagued by injuries and made eight changes, which included six players aged 21 or younger. They made four substitutions before an hour had passed. The first chance came for Kidderminster, around the half-hour mark, when Ashley Hemmings and Omari Morgan-Smith saw decent attempts blocked. Seconds later, a 30-yard shot from Omari Sterling James was tipped over the crossbar by quick-witted work from the goalkeeper, Raphael. Reading appeared to sense, as the crowd buzzed with the same idea, that an upset may be brewing, and it was their star midfielder, Danny Drinkwater, back after a groin injury, who turned the tide. His efforts transformed the right flank into a danger zone fueling Dayon Tetek to tee up George Puskas, who fired in readings first with a hint of fortune. With two deflating minutes added until halftime, Sterling James, who would prove the most lively of attackers on the pitch, once again fancied his chances, sending an acrobatic overhead kick sailing way over the crossbar. The belief of the home supporters never died, though, and they returned from the break to see Sterling James at his lively bet. After 69 minutes the striker Sam Austin, the club's longest-serving player, squeezed the equalizer past the reading goalkeeper, Raphael. Before the match, Austin, who described this match as the biggest of his career, had speculated that, if he were to score the winner, he would never have to buy another drink in Kidderminster and this equalizer will certainly earn him enough rounds to last the season. Kidderminster did well to regain momentum after a solid five minutes of stoppage and Reading's Felipe Aronet Hoffman came down awkwardly after a header. It was a brutal moment, the Brazilian had been on the pitch for five minutes after more than 400 days out with injury, only to be stretchered off after his first touches on the ball. Kidderminster pushed forward once again and ratted the reading defense until the 81st minute and Ashley Hemmings teed up Omari Morgan-Smith for a close-range finish. That belief had been realized, they were ahead, and looked by far the more confident team. Aruna's misfortune made for a painful 12 minutes of stoppage time. It could have been, and briefly looked to be, to reading's advantage, as they began tentative movements towards the goal, only to see a blue flare thrown seemingly by their own fans to the feet of the Kidderminster goalkeeper, halting play once again and extinguishing any hopes of a comeback. As Kidderminster fans sang Wembley, the only words that could be heard from the reading stands were, this is embarrassing. Kidderminster Harriers, L. Simpson, A. Penny, N. Cameron, G. Bedrami, C. Richards, K. Martin, M. Carrington, A. Hemmings, S. Austin, O. Sterling James, A. Morgan Smith, Booked, Simpson. Reading, R. Cabral Barbosa, D. Tetek, T. Holmes, L. Halsman, E. Bristow, D. Drinkwater, C. Osorio, M. Kamara, T. Deli Bashiro, Ahalilovic, G. Poska, Booked Rhinomota, Raphael, Holmes.